Hi guys, so now we are in Kudiga. Um, it takes like around three hours bus ride to come here from Riga and it's in the west of Latvia. Uh, Kudiga was like the capital of the uh, Kurland Duchy, so it was in the times of the Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth, which you just told me, like, you know, my history is like. <laughs> but anyway, it's uh, Kusheme in Latvian, and now we're gonna find lunch first because now it's already nearly 12, right? Half past 11, nearly 12. Now we are going to um, the what's the name? Starbucks. Mm -hmm. Starbucks. It so, is not Starbucks. Yeah, it's not Starbucks. It sounds like Starbucks, but it's uh, like a uh, uh, kind of like a like the Polish bar Mlecznik style. So it's like self catering again. And just now we want to go to another restaurant, like the one like kind of more on the outer yeah. part. The what's the name? It's called Yekapta Sakta something. Like that. So. They only got like the lunch menu, they only have two choices and one is the chicken, the other is the fish, the herring and I don't like the, like chicken is just chicken and I want to try something new but um, the herring I don't like it because we asked if it's cold or hot and the herring is supposed to be the cold one so For lunch. Yeah, mm. well, so um, I don't want to have cold meals so so we just like okay sorry and then we went out and then now we are gonna find our stuff books yeah. So now we are in Sadboxe and um, I mentioned it wrong, it's actually not self-catering but you go to the bar area and then you tell the, uh, the waitress and waiter like what you want and then they just uh, give it to you, so they serve it to you. And we have this soup that we want to try, first time trying this soup, it's called uh, Salonka. I have no idea what's inside. It seems like sour cream with eh, olives and vegetables let me try i thought it would be spicy like goulash but actually it's not it's just like tomato tomato soup and i don't know if this is actually cheese. yeah yeah no problem i don't know if this is cheese or sour cream i'm not sure yet it's sour cream it's sour cream and And they have like the kind of pork in it. I, it tastes a little bit like spam to me, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure what pork we need to search about it. And some olive. And is it ogurki? I don't know. They have like a bit of potato in it. I like it. So now we got a big portion of pork chop. This is pork chop Hungarian style with both rice. The pork chop itself is not crunchy. I would prefer it if it's crunchier. Like the pork chop, the meat itself tastes normal. But I like the fact that it's layered with cream and like the bell peppers, onions and cheese. I think it makes it really flavorful. So for me, the texture is normal, but like the flavor is good. Mm, the rice is normal, but I really like the, the flavor of the pork chop. It will be better if it's crunchier. This big portion of onion, cotton. Seems to have like cheese. The beef itself tastes like mm, it tastes okay for me. Like the beef is like average. It tastes like a bit like you know kind of Hong Kong style like beef noodles. We call that like ao lam ho or ao lam bean. Like like kind of like that. I know it's not because ao lam is like this the kind of like the belly of the beef that we have in Hong Kong. It's a very local dish that Michelle will try when he gets um. To Hong Kong in August, but this one tastes like a bit similar, so the beef is quite tender. Mm. Not that I particularly like though, but I like the onion sauce. The onion sauce, I have to be honest, the onion sauce is good, but this one is more flavorful. For more cream and bell peppers mixed with onion and cheese, I like my pork chop more. This time I think I choose right. Oh no! I chose. Holy! God damn it! God damn it! I was so stupid. Like I was like, I chose right because I was so I was so stupid because they put the the dish to me and then I thought like I chose it, but actually Mister chose it again and I'm like, okay, whatever. I'm gonna eat this one. So this was the restaurant. That, oh my god! I saw Winnie the Pooh again. It's like flirting at us. Later on, you can see it's behind you. Um, the saburatsu. So, um, the portion size are really good and filling. I'm really full now. So 
now we are by the river and later on we are going to walk to the, for the spot, the waterfall and I think it's very... how do you say that? Like, it's the kind of feeling that is like, you know, not that fast, soft the, like the, the currents, the current is it how you describe it, the water current? it's like slow, but then it, it's so wide like the river is very wide and you can see like the Vindava River. gonna go to the waterfall and this is the Fanta waterfall and the Fanta waterfall, waterfall is like the widest one in Europe it's 200 around 249 meters wide super wide not not deep later on you guys will see it's not it's not like high the waterfall but it's very wide and apparently we just read um, behind us there's a sign telling us so what exactly the, the like the fun things of the waterfall so there are lots of fish trying to go up the waterfall like you know the ones that you see I only see in movies because before I've never seen it in real life not that I'll see it now because it's winter but anyway but, <laughs> but then like the fish try to go up and then the fishermen try to catch the fish by like a very unique method which is like kind of catch the flying fish in the air so they put like the baskets like they have like they hang some baskets or like over the waterfall and then when the fish try to fly up and then they accidentally fell in, into the basket and then the fisherman can be like yes Cross the break bridge and then we are going gonna go back to the old town and then find a souvenir shop because Michelle wants more like magnets or something <laughs> of Kuti gas so we're gonna yeah we just saw the photo spot it's very very beautiful to be honest I prefer like nature like forests waterfalls rivers more than like more than historical sites <laughs> like oh I, I like it too like going to museums right but then I like looking at this and breathing in the air that's why more prefers environmental history. Dark. Mm. Oh, oh, and uh, next year we are taking like uh, uh, the kind of the course that we just taught by our environmental history, uh, uh, not professor, but like a uh, leader. Leader, uh, because he's a doctor, not a professor yet. I hope he becomes one very, very soon. And, and uh, this year, and then we really like his class. And so that's why, and he's such a kind person. So that's why we are taking like, uh, the next year the big module by him to conduct it by him because we got like a choice 
of I forgot six or seven choices. Seventeen. Seven oh, seventeen choices, and so we we chose the one that we are like deliberately searching. Oh my god, he's teaching this, and then we see okay, it's like basically more about like. Um, race, genetics. Yeah, genetics. Humans. It's like you know a, a mix of like science, but then a little bit of like feels like archaeology and then like history. And I'm like, yes, that's my thing. So. or something like coffee shop or something but that one looks a bit like too familiar to us like the interior and like the atmosphere looks a bit like too UK to me that one so I don't I don't really like it so we went inside here because we saw the outside and I like the font the words and like the whole design it just looks very very like a little independent shop so we went here and we ordered two drinks um, both are hot. One is the apple and cinnamon, kind of like a tea. Maybe it's similar to Polish compote, who knows, we'll see later. And one is the black currant one, to just rest a bit after walking for such a long time to see the for this one. This one is the apple with cinnamon, and they have like three little um, kind of bear cherries, I think. Looks very fancy. Looks like magic potion with the yellow and the, the kind of pinkish red. And then Michelle has the uh, current drink, with orange, orange slices. It's still a little bit too hot. I will have a taste. But like these two, it costs us two euros thirty. Two euros thirty. So it's like one euro something each and like UK it will be like three pounds or more for each. So I was like, drink all we want. <laughs> this Makabi is a lovely little cafe. Like I highly highly recommend it if you guys um, come to uh, Kudiga. So come here instead of maybe the more like touristy crowded marmalade. marmalade. It's called the marmalade. These are uh, 280, so two euros 80 pence. With. And it's supposed to be a snack. It's supposed to be a, <laughs> it's supposed to be a snack, but then they, you got like four big pieces. So I know. The portion size is very good. With sour cream. Get yeah, nice Look very crispy. Very, very thin potato pancakes. Delicious, delicious potato pancakes. And then you get yourself small fry and sour cream. And then you. The, uh, pork chop in Warsaw style. And this one is five euro seventy pence for the portions with large portion of chips, uh, sour cream again, and some salad with some cucumber, bell peppers, everything. This huge chunk of pork chop. The size is great. Maybe. And this is some from the kitchen. Right? And then maybe that's how he. Mm. The layer is not not super thick. It's quite thin too. The sauce is. I can taste the tomato. The sweetness of the tomato. I think it got a little bit of mayonnaise. The creamy mayonnaise. The pork chop itself is absolutely delicious. I have to say this one. This one. It. Really is the best pork chop. <coughs> I've better than the seagull, though. Eh, but that's different, no? That's grilled dog. This one is fried dog. We can't, we can't, we can't do it like this. We need to classify them. I mean, among among all the carbonara, among all the like the the fried pork chop family, that one is like you know this. That one is special. This one is very good. Look at that. It's all brown. 
outside is very crispy, inside is very soft. So we just had a lovely early dinner at Standards Bars, and uh, the, the waitress the, uh, who served us is very, very helpful and polite, and I like her, and um, quite friendly, to be honest, like uh, more friendly than like the other people that we saw here. Not that they are not friendly, it's just they are kind of like expressionless, that's why always quite stern and serious. And the pork chop is really really good, the Warsaw style. Mm -hmm. it's, I found out that it's actually not onion that makes it spicy, it's garlic. So it's like super yummy with tomato sauce and it's like, oh, and the pork chop itself is marinated so well. It's just, I love it. And then the potato pancakes are so good too, and it's only 8 euros 30, right? 8 euros 60 or 8 euros 30 pence? Definitely on around the 8 something. Yeah, 8 something, but I forgot about it. Under 10 euros for two big meals. The the potato pancakes are supposed to be a snack, but you got four big pancakes, so oh. it's not actually a snack. And I think it's by far the cheapest one, 8 mm. euros something, so very happy with that. So now we are at the uh, bus station, so we're just hiding inside and waiting for the bus to come and then we'll hop onto the bus and then it will be a three hour bus ride until we get back to Riga and then afterwards we're just gonna go straight into the hotel. Um, so this is the end of today's vlog, see you guys tomorrow. Bye bye, go home, share. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.